Good morning everyone. So as I promised yesterday when um, I put the video out for 14.0.0 um, I said that you'd be able to update your um, switch and be able to run Atmosphere on 14.0.0. So it's fairly straightforward it's just um, it's going to require a couple more steps than you're used to um, because if you're using the all-in-one updater it's not going to show on there, which I'll show uh, later on in my switch. But um, basically, uh, if you have updated to 14.0.0, you're going to need to um, pop out your SD card and manually install uh, Atmosphere. You're going to need to do it anyway. So um, get that SD card out of your switch. Uh, make sure you turn power your switch off completely um, using a decent SD uh, reader. We all know how um, SD cards can get corrupted, so be careful with them, make sure you're follow, following all the processes correctly, like safely removing it uh, when you're done. So anyway, you've updated to 14.0.0, or you want to update to 14.0.0, uh, next step is quite straightforward. Uh, get an SD card in your PC, um, and then if you go to uh, the GitHub website, which I'll put a link in the description, but um, it's fairly straightforward just type atmosphere github in google and this will bring you to this page so as you can see this was the um this is the most recent um official version of atmosphere 1.2.6 but this only goes up to 13.2.1 so we want 14.0 we need to if you click on releases here it's going to show you that there's a pre pre-release version and I cannot thank Atmosphere enough, um, the team behind uh, who make this software, for getting this out real promptly. Because my son updated my switch to 14.0, and um, I literally came on here that morning, and there was a pre-release out, out. So thank you very much. It meant I could keep playing my switch. My son could keep playing my switch. Um, I didn't have to um, wait. So. This is a pre-release, um, so it's 1.3.0. Remember that, 1.3.0, that is one you're gonna uh, need. And there is quite a big change log for it, but so much of it to the novices like you and me, uh, doesn't really matter. All we care about is this one here, 14.0.0 support, okay? So that is what is important, that um, we can play on 14.0.0. I'm not going to read through all of this stuff here because, in all honesty, it goes way over my head. I don't pretend, as we know on this channel, to know much about that. I just sort of give the very novice guide as how to do this. So, two files you're going to need to download, which are Atmosphere 1.3.0 and Fusey.bin. Okay. Straightforward. Copy them over to your SD card, um, override, and everything is already on there, and that should have you good to go okay and then you can load up atmosphere as usual so i don't show you how to do that because i get copyright strikes or bans or whatever for showing how to do it so i don't show you exactly how to do it to tell you um and it's quite easy to do um but that is the reason you want you want the pre-release that i presume is going to come out very soon uh so uh, there's nothing here officially saying when it's going to come out but um I imagine it won't change much um, unless people put forward some sort of um, a pull requests or uh, uh, put in bugs. So what we do, we'll go over to my switch to prove that it does work. Um, so let me just get over to my switch. So here I am on my switch and as you can see I have the current system version 14.0.0 uh, and atmosphere 1.3.0. So. There you go, you can see that um, I am officially running Atmosphere on 14.0.0 and I'm having no issues at all. Um, just a real quick one, if you um, haven't already done, there is a Joy-Con update in 14.0.0. Highly recommend um, updating Joy-Cons. Um, they don't uh, particularly tell you what it's done, but you may notice less drift. If you've got drift on your Joy-Cons, might be a bit more responsive. The IR sensor might work. You don't know, but you can't argue with an update so um, in that terms so get it done I am um, personally replaced my joy-con um, sticks real easy to do um, and I just followed a video on YouTube to do it bought a set off Amazon for like 13 pound it was nothing really and it took me about half hour to do four joy-cons so real easy to do I do recommend doing it I've had zero drift since doing it um, 
and that is that. Um, there was one more thing you wanted me to show you. So, I've just checked on my switch and I've just checked if you do use the all-in-one updater, the 1.3.0 is actually available on the all-in-one switch updater. Usually pre-releases aren't re available there, but if you can save getting that SD card out of your switch, I highly recommend doing this. So what you want to do is go to your all-in-one switch updater and uh, update atmosphere first and then update to um, uh, 14.0.0 so there we go there's the official firmware it's available there so you can use all in one updater make sure you do atmosphere first then your firmware then your sig patches okay do it in that order and you should be golden and then you should be able to uh, play on your switch any issues hit me up in the comments i'm doing my best to reply to every comment um now so i'm trying to be a bit more uh present on the channel so 